Hello viewers, this is Hey Rotlinio. Welcome back to my playthrough of Metroid 2 Return of Samus for the Game Boy. We've cleared out the third area of the game of its dangerous Gamma Metroids. So now we're in the fourth area. This will actually be a pretty short area. We'll be able to explore the fourth and fifth areas entirely in this episode. Have a taste of my spazer. These two areas won't have any ruins or power-ups. Now we'll just climb up here. No enemies, I see. Suspicious. And we'll find the one Metroid of this area in this room. Hello, Gamma Metroid. Not as tricky a battleground as some of the rooms in the previous area. Bye-bye, Gamma Metroid. Now we just have to backtrack out of this set of rooms. Now this quake will drain some of the acid in the third area. So we'll have to go back to the third area to get to the fifth area. I can just drop down here, then head back to the right. Yep, there's still some acid on the floor here. And we're back out to the main shaft. Yes, that acid won't drain until we've completed the fifth area. There are only two Metroids in that area. So, let's head over there. Ouch. So, back to the third area. Now the acid is drained here, so we can, con we can continue down to the fifth area. Some tricky spikes. Excuse me. Two 
two Metroid shells. First we'll head left. A little more climbing. Those red things are just platforms. But I'll just space jump across. Boing, 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 boing. Over to the left. We'll find the first Metroid of the area here. And it is a regular old Alpha Metroid. Bye-bye, Alpha Metroid. And in case you need it, there's an energy refill over there. Now we'll make our way out of here. Back across this lake of acid. Then we'll go down again. Now we'll go up after the next Metroid. Now we'll head to the right. And up some more. And those creatures obviously can only be attacked from the back. At least not from the front. Maybe from above and below. Another lake of acid to jump across. Oh, those platform creatures will disappear at random, so be careful. Ready our missiles. Because we'll find a Gamma Metroid in here. But if you get the right setup... It shouldn't be a problem at all. And over here, there's a missile recharge. That's the last Metroid for the fifth area. So we get some quaking action to drain some more acid. Stuck there for a second. Now we'll make our way all the way back down. And back around to the main shaft. Back to the third area, so we can make our way out. Oop, that was a little close. There we go. Back to the main shaft. Now we'll make our way around to the sixth area.
that's that drop bubble shaped bombs. In a way that makes me think of Me Mega Man's bubble bats. We'll have to knock down one of those rocks with a missile, then we can go through. Some more acid that we'll have to drain later. We're now in the sixth area. We'll probably kill the first Metroid before we make it to the save station. There are seven Metroids in this area. All of them of the dangerous variety. Our first Metroid here is a Gamma Metroid. There we go. There's its shell, I think. And there's the shell of another Metroid. First we'll drop down through this lake and get a missile expansion. Hop back up through this Metroid shell, then we'll head to the left into the ruins. This is the last major area with ruins and power-ups. And we'll explore it in the next episode. This is Heirotmania, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.